This is Joanna Schrader, and I'm with Mark Anderson with Ag Leader. Mark, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Well, Mark, we are at the Iowa Power Farm Show in Des Moines, Iowa, and you have a new announcement. We're going to spell it right now, Mark. You are launching the new Advanced Seed Monitoring System. That's correct. Now, this is going to be an update to your Integra system. So we're going to start off just for people who aren't familiar with your technology. Just can you give us a brief overview of what Integra is? Uh, the Integra is our 12.1-inch color touchscreen monitor. Uh, we can use it anywhere from harvest mode to sprayers uh, to planters. And C Command is uh, what we use on the planters. In C Command, we can do population monitoring, uh, clutch control, hydraulic drives, um, and the advanced seed tube monitoring is for our population side. Okay, so this is the next generation of, of your seed control. That's or, right. Okay. This uh, screen right here is what some of our current customers of Integra are probably familiar with for our population monitoring. And it shows our bar graph of our population and whether we're hitting our population at 100% or if we're above or below. And with the advanced seed tube monitoring, uh, we can press this new button. This will be available in our February release. Um, it's something that can be downloaded off the internet at no charge and just upgrade the monitor so you'll get this button here. And in advanced seed tube monitoring, we see things like our singulation, um, which we have on row by row. We have a population up on top for row 9 right now, uh, spacing quality, seed spacing, uh, as I said the singulation skips and doubles. We can toggle through those rows also just by pressing the button over here. Uh, if we look down here at the bottom, each one of these rows is 1 through 12 for a 12 row planter and we have an error across all the rows for some reason that popped up, that's what that red indicates. And as that error comes up, we're also going to see in the virtual seed trench those errors go by and we can pause that virtual seed trench and actually capture exactly where that error was at. So we've got a skip in this location. We can zoom out from five foot spacing on this measuring stick all the way out to 25 feet I believe it is. Yep. So it gives the customer a real good idea of what's happening and what's going into the ground. So let's talk a little bit, okay, you know, you're a farmer, you're, you always need to improve your operations. So how is this, you know, this next generation of, of, of population control going to help them improve their return? This is going to give them the ability to see where they're having skips and doubles. And when you, whenever you have a skip or double, uh, your performance of that crop is not going to be the best. You're going to lose yield. You're either not having a plant where it should be or you're having two plants too close together and they're fighting for nutrients. So uh, once they can identify that there is a problem, then they can look for where that problem is being caused, whether it's a seed plate issue, brushes, or something of that, of that nature. So for those people who haven't used your, um, your that will have Integra, they haven't used the C command, what will it take for them to get started with this technology? Uh, this technology requires the Integra, uh, and then we have wiring harness that would be hooking up into existing seed tubes such as Dickie John type sensors, which you'll find on all the common manufacturers, John Deere, Agco, um, Case, Planners. And how quickly should they uh, start talking to you about ordering this technology? Today would be great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the sooner the better because as soon as uh, spring rolls around, orders go through the roof and we need to be able to get that manufactured for the customer. Okay. So the sooner the better so we can get it out there and get it installed for the customer. So, you know, a lot of growers, especially, you know, a lot of them at this show, um, I actually talked to one in particular, has never used any of these precision technologies that we're talking about right now. Does your staff come and help them, you know, kind of train them on how to use these technologies on the farm once they purchase them? We have a dealer network uh, that will actually go out and help them. Uh, we have technical support staff in which they can call in and uh, we can support them that way. Currently, we're actually doing trainings in the field. Uh, I believe next week uh, we're doing some in Nebraska. Um, they're already going on here in Iowa and throughout the Midwest, so uh, we send our tech support out to do customer meetings. Great, and where uh, can people who, if they're at the show, obviously they can come visit you at the booth, but if they're not here, where can they go to get more information? Uh, at agleader.com, 
or they can contact us directly at 515-232-5363 uh, and uh, either tech support or our sales department will be happy to help. Okay, and tell us again, when is this uh, update going to be ready? Uh, sometime here this month in February. Okay, so it'll be ready to go when they're ready to plant. Yes, it will. Great. Thanks, Mark. Thanks.